Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, I'm dealing with a bit of a mind block. So if you clicked on this video, you already know. Um, so I'm going to show you how I get over my mind blocks. So to be honest, today I'm feeling really meh anyway, but on days like this, I feel like it's really important to keep on riding, you know? Like if you're having like a really downer day and you know, you just feel like you haven't got anything left in you, it is just so important to just enjoy the day. So even if, even if that means you're just doing the most basic of lines, you know, like just berms, just some fun flowy berms, just keep on doing it. Cause I guarantee you'll feel better at the end of the day than you did at the beginning so it's so important to just carry on riding but so last week when i was here at twisted oaks um they opened the new line so if you haven't watched that video it is linked so make sure you do, do, do watch it but before i started riding the black line um basically i came over to do steezy and sleazy uh sleazy is really easy like it's just like super fast especially on the slope bike but steezy is also very fast on the slope bike but with the whole one brake situation it's actually really hard to sort of modulate your speed like on carpet as well um so i kind of uh it was completely my fault and what i've done is on this gap I have ooh, demonstrated. So imagine that, but landing right into that berm and uh, there is just nothing, like literally in the berm and you, you, got, you got nowhere to go. Um, so basically that's what I did. I stacked it and uh, I decided I was gonna switch to my polygon and then I decided I was gonna go hit the black line. So yeah, this is how weird my brain works. Anywho, uh, we're here today and yeah i've been having a, a mind block over over obviously the one i've crashed on so this one um so we're just gonna give it a go and get over it um so you know like as much as i want to do the full line just no pressure i just want to get this one dialed feel good on it and then we'll see so let's get right in I actually completely forgot to press record on my GoPro uh, for the two run-ins I've done on the first road gap. So here is Sleazy for you. Right, so we got this first road gap out of the way this one um but what is frustrating now is that i seem to be developing another mind block over the next one um so yeah if you've not been to twisted oaks i'm just gonna oh that's a bit slippery walk you over to the second road gap or I don't know, berm gap. I don't. I don't know what what you want to call it. I guess it is kind of a trail. I don't know. So uh, it's this one. It's it's definitely shorter than the first one, but then you go into this this big big berm right there, which is fine. But my brain is thinking oh no so as i said before it's just super important to just carry on riding even if i just keep doing the first road gap it is still 
So this is how, how I get over my mind blocks. If, uh, if it's something I rode before, uh, I just keep on riding it. Just keep on doing it until you get comfortable and you're like, oh, okay, I feel good on the bike, I feel comfortable. And if you can't, then go ride something else. So it could be any other line. Just go ride something else, just get it out of your head, just clear it out, it's not there, and then come back to it. So that is probably the best way I've found for me to get over a mind, a mind, um, a mind fog, <laughs> a mind block. So yeah, let's let's keep on um, going for this one and see if we can get it. Let's go. Maybe. Finally, we made it to this jump. I mean, like I pulled out, but <laughs> it is better than, um, you know, we getting there. So we get in the line ticked off for like, I don't even know how many, how many of time. Um, so yeah, last jump to go. And this jump is actually really sweet. It is so nice. Like if you, I'll show you, uh, it's actually really mellow. So it's super sweet. And the gap is not, not that big, maybe a couple of bike length. Um, and yeah, you're into a mellow landing. Plenty, plenty of landing. So yeah, this is the last jump to hit on the line that I had a mental block on. So whew, let's go and do it. That was sick like <laughs> i kind of like um feel like i shouldn't be proud of sending this line that i've already sent in the past before but you know you kind of got to be like yes little wins you know because uh when i set off to like, ride this line i was really like feeling meh and i just you know when you just like can't be asked like you just burnt out you just like Mm, not feeling it but now after I rode the line got over my mental block as I said guaranteed I feel a hundred percent better and what I'm going to do now is go and hit some other lines and I might put them in the video <laughs> yeah let's go hit some other lines now shall we let's have some fun
it was another sick day at Twisted Oaks. I am so glad that even with my mind block earlier in the video, I carried on riding and got over it because as I said, I feel so much better. Um, and yeah, it gave me the, uh, it gave me the go to go and hit some other lines. So I'm really, really glad I did that. And if you are struggling with a mind, ga um, mind gap, a mind block like that, I definitely recommend you do the same. Just get out, get, get on your bike, just ride something easy. Like even if you need, know, you, you not necessarily want to get over a mind block. Just go and ride something because it will make you feel so much better just being out on your bike. And on that note, if you guys are interested about uh, more Twist Oaks shenanigans, uh, check out my other videos. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a like. And while you're here, you might as well subscribe and turn on the notification button uh, so you won't miss another video when I upload it. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye.